Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Huey. I hope you guys stick around, subscribe if you haven't already, click on the bell notification down there to get notified on every time I upload a video, and also give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and share this video to anyone that who has an interest in fragrance. So today's video is going to be a uh, collection video of my Tom Ford fragrances, and you guys, I really love Tom Ford fragrances. I feel like his fragrances are extraordinary, very revolutionary you know just really like out there and really intense and really potent and that's what I love in fragrances and so yeah so uh, with that being said this is my um, collection video on my uh, Tom Ford the uh, I think this is like his signature scents right here he has like you know the the private blend um, scents and also this one is the signature scent so I will show you the signature scent right now so they are in no particular order so i will get started with the first one so i have here um tom ford white patchouli and this fragrance right here is really 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 floral you guys it is a really sweet patchouli it's very yummy it's really elegant really really classy fragrance right here um uh, th this one is like you know it, it just like it just brings me happiness every time i smell it and it's just like you know um just you know, puts me in a garden, in a flower garden, and it just uh, um, puts me in a very ethereal mood where, like, you know, like, I just want to, like, you know, sit out in the sun, you know, in the flower garden, just, like, you know, just basically mesmerizing, you know, um, on all of the finest thing that, you know, nature gives us. Like, you know, the greens, the grass, the um, trees, and like, you know, the beautiful florals, the different colors of the florals. So this is uh, what white patchouli does for me. It is a really nice fragrance. I absolutely really, really, really love it. It's just a very juicy floral fragrance, and it just really makes me happy every time I wear it. So I have here white patchouli. Next, I have a um, Orchid Sule. Now this one right here, oh my goodness, it is summer but floral. <laughs> you guys, like, it's so beautiful. Like, when I smell this, I can definitely, like, you know, smell, like, the the summer. I can really smell, like, pretty much, like, you know, the sun in here. Kind of like, you know, like, that smell when, like, your skin, your skin is kind of, you know, sitting in the sun and just, like, you know, getting sun kissed and, like, you know, it's getting tan and you just smell that like you know that sunscreen mixing with like your body chemistry but add a little bit of floral in it oh my goodness I think this has a little bit of gardenia in it and oh my goodness you guys this is such a really, really unique uh, combination and it just really smell really elegant like um, elegant in the sun is what I'm trying to say with this fragrance right here it is really beautiful and it, yeah it just reminds me of summer and I just really love it um it um it doesn't really put me into like a beach mood, but it puts me into like a mood where like I just want to lay out in like my front yard <laughs> or, or something um, and, and, and just uh, lay out and just like, you know, just have like, you know, that quick moment of summer and sun in uh, in me. So I uh, I really do love that about this fragrance right here. It is really beautiful and really elegant as well. Next, I have um, the Velvet Orchid right here, and I also have the Velvet Orchid Lumiere. Now, for these two right here, they are almost, almost identical for me. The only time that I could tell a difference is when it dries down. So, first of all, the packaging, you guys. The original has, like, the glossy packaging right here, and the uh, limited edition Lumiere has the frosted packaging. And, oh my goodness, they're so beautiful. So, the original one, when it dries down, it dries down very floral, it's very fresh, and it's just, like, very classy, and it's really elegant. And, for the Lumiere one, when it dries down, it dries down like very earthy. It it kind of gives off like a woodsy vibe to me, and it also is really yummy. So it's it's like a gourmand right here, a gourmand fragrance. So that's the difference between the two. More floral for the original uh, Velvet Orchid, and more gourmand for the Velvet Orchid Lum Lumiere right here. And they both smell really divine, you guys. I absolutely love it. Uh, both of them kind of give off like a, like a, a tea essence to me as well. Like, you know how every time when you like make tea, you boil tea and, and you like get a whiff of that, like, you know, that steam? That's 
it has that in the background as well, so it smells really beautiful and I absolutely love these two. Alright you guys, this one is a really special one, Sahara Noir right here. I feel like this should have been in the private blend collection and I'm sad that this has been discontinued because this is the masterpiece and I am using this very sparingly because I love it so much. Now when I wear this, it just reminds me of like, you know, a cathedral and like, you know, sage being light to kind of like purify the environment. It has like this beautiful like like aura to it that makes you feel like you are safe and you are blessed and you are just like you know under the protection of like a higher power being like it's very mystical it is very psychic like too like you know i'm a psychic medium so when i smell this it just brings me to like another dimension it um, it also reminds me of like spice markets in the Middle East. Um, I've never been to the Middle East before, but a lot of people say that the smell is like the Middle East. And it's just like, it's just a very, very um, vintage like. And it has like this beautiful smoky mystery to it. And oh my goodness, like, like I. It just smells so beautiful. It has like incense in it. It smells like incense. It smells like sage. And it just smells like, you know, like just. Just so magical and so mystical and it smells so powerful to it. It kind of reminds me of the Christmas time and it kind of like uh, reminds me of like you know the wise men you know like in the Bible like you know like you know the three wise men. It just reminds me of like you know I don't it just gives me that image like you know where like you know you are in like a, a cathedral someone that's like you know really high powered and like you know really mystical and magical and like you know like where you can where you can express your faith and like have prayers and everything like that. Oh, such a beautiful, magnificent, magical, ethereal fragrance right here. I absolutely love Sahara Noir right here. And last but not least, you guys, I have here Black Orchid. Everyone knows uh, Black Orchid. Everyone knows uh, that, you know, this is the It Time For fragrance right here. Oh my goodness. It smells so beautiful, so divine, so sexy, so sensual, so classy, and like, you know, just a go-getter fragrance. This is like a, um, like a boss lady fragrance right here, but men can wear this too, successful, like, you know, high-powered men and boss lady, you know, this is their fragrance right here. Every time when I wear this fragrance, I feel so powerful and I just feel so luxurious. Um, this also brings back a lot of memories too because I wore this fragrance a lot during my college years and when I used to collect Louis Vuitton. So when I wear this fragrance, it kind of brings me back to when I used to, you know, collect Louis Vuitton, I used to, like, you know, just um, love, like, you know, like those extravagant, beautiful purses, the uh, Mi Mirakami multicolor line. Oh my goodness, it just brings me back during that time frame right there. And it just brings me back when I was in college and, you know, with all my friends there, and we would just, like, you know, go to house parties together and just. You know, just just have the time of our lives, like as college students. And I just really love this black orchid fragrance right here. It's just a really powerful, um, confidence boosting fragrance right here. It's so beautiful, you guys. Absolutely love this. If you have to have a time for a fragrance, definitely get black orchid right here. Um, it is a really sassy, high powered, confidence boosting fragrance right here that men and women can wear. I absolutely love it. Alright you guys, so that is it. That concludes my um, Tom Ford signature um, uh, you know, um, collection video right here of fragrances. I hope you guys like it. If you guys do, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell notification down there to get notified and every time I upload a video and also share this video to anyone who loves fragrances. So until next time, I hope you guys are safe and well and blessed. Bye!